For today's Monday Makeup Lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this classic smoky eye using one neutral eyeshadow. You can even use your bronzer for this or your favorite transition shade. And then a smoky shadow and I'm using black. But you can use any dark shade that you like. It's a super easy look to recreate, so let's get started. As always, I've started off by priming my eyelids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. You can use concealer and a little bit of setting powder if you prefer. You basically want to create a blank canvas for you to work on. This is particularly important when you're doing a smoky eye. It'll also give the shadows something to hold on to. The first shadow that we're working on is that neutral shade. This should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone and at least two shades lighter than the smoky shadow that you're using. So just adjust this depending on your own skin tone and your preferred shades. You're also going to need a blending brush. We're actually going to be using two, one for applying and one for blending. We're going to start off with the applying one and take a little bit of eyeshadow and start to work this from the outer edge of the eye, blending in. Instead of starting directly on the outer edge, I like to come in a little bit. This will just help with the blending process to make sure we're not blending our eyeshadows out too far. We want to keep our application in between these two lines. For regulars here on the makeup chair, you guys probably already know this, but for those who are beginners, you basically want to keep your eyeshadows blending in from this point. And to find this point, you're going to use the edge of your nose, edge of your eye, and edge of your brow, and keep your eyeshadows in from this point, and then create a parallel line for the inner corner, stopping at the tear duct. Don't worry too much about the inner corner, just really make sure you're focusing on that outer corner, blending over and back. So how do you blend? Well, what I like to do is I like to keep my hand quite low when I blend. This will just allow me to sweep over and back in the crease of the eye. And this is where the lid creases into the eye shape. You want to keep this nice and soft and blended. It should fade pretty much upwards towards the brows, but by the time it reaches the brows, it should be very sheer. You should also apply the shadow all over the lid. This will actually create a layered effect and help with the blending process for your smoky shade. As we're not using any other eyeshadows today, I really want to make sure this blend is perfect. So I'm taking a clean blending brush so this doesn't have any product on it. And we're going to sweep this over and back to blend out any harsh lines. But because we're only working with two, we want to make sure we're really blending. So that's why we're using a clean blending brush to soften any harsh lines. And now we're going to take our smoky shade. I'm going to use a flat brush, but also my fingertips to apply the shadow. We really want the darkness to be at the lash line, and there's two ways of doing this. Keeping your hand nice and low, or lifting your hand high and coming at the lash line at a higher angle. Do whatever works for you. And then I'm also going to be using my fingertips to apply it on the lid. This just allows me to work the black shadow into the lid. Once I've done that, I then take my blending brush. This is the one that was used previously and softly sweep over and back to blend out what I applied with my fingertips. Now this brush will have a little bit left over from the previous shade, but that will actually help with the blending process. And all you want to do is to apply and blend until you get the depth of color that you like. Making sure that that lash line is nice and deep and dark and blending upwards into nothing by the time it reaches the brows. Once I apply mascara, I then take my lashes and I apply that with some duo glue. And I also apply lots of mascara. And that is the finished look. If you recreate it, I would love to see it. Definitely let me know. Comment below if you have any questions and you can also message me on Instagram. It's at Sinead Check out the other videos on the screen. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.